Hi everyone. Hello. We are Hi. certainly glad to be back with you this week. Yes, we, we are. We trust you had a great mm. week, past week. We just experienced our Resurrection Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I just really want to thank God that he came through his son. Not only that he came, but that he rose again. And because of him, we can have life and life more abundantly. We're able to walk in freedom and we're able to walk, truly walk out a life that is filled with power and strength. Welcome again to Faith Bite. Yes, a bite of faith mm -hmm. from Faith Five Fellowship of Ministries with Anthony and Cheryl Nelson. We like talking to you. And I trust you will be inspired, encouraged, mm -hmm. and possibly challenged from this bite of faith today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with a friend. It will do us and you a lot of good. Won't it? Absolutely. And so yeah. this morning, we want to talk to you about mm -hmm. making your faith personal. Making your faith personal. Kind of like customizing your faith. That's right. <laughs> you know, it's so easy for us today to pick up something that really we don't know where it manufactured. We don't know who built it. We just like the product and we want the product. Like a cell phone, a laptop. One of those products we like the color, we like the program, but it really is not yours until you carry it home and begin to put your information on it and you begin to use it a couple of times and clean it up and it becomes personal. Get your own password going on on it. You know what I'm talking about. That's just, right. just make it personally yours. So when it did, when you can't find it, your first reaction was that I've lost my phone. <laughs> you didn't say I lost somebody else's phone, it's not mine. Now, the manufacturer wasn't thinking of you when they made it, with the mass production of these phones. Oh, but when, you put, like when you put your stuff on it, it becomes personal. That's Faith right. is like that in your personal walk with God. Yes. It's manufactured for all of us to receive faith, like a cell phone. But when you put your personal stamp to it, yeah. you put your confidence in God to take you through a sickness, a relational issue, mm. and you put your salvation, your opening, you put yourself and your information in that, maybe you got a password, which you know your password. Ah. Because there's some things about you in your personal faith that when you cry, Abba, Father, you know what you mean. Ah. That's your password, your that's personal right. life. That's right. And so that's what God wants us to continue to walk in a life where your faith is personal to you. And you know what, even as you're saying that, this mm -hmm. brings us to mind, we're fresh off the heels mm -hmm. of Resurrection Sunday. That's right. And the thing is, one of the things I want to bring to you in John chapter 20, um, where it speaks about resurrection early in the morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene, talk about making our faith personal, came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away. Mm -hmm. So she had experience mm -hmm. with Jesus Christ while he walked. And she made it in her mind that she was going to show up because he said he was going to die. He said he'd rise again. Mm -hmm. But her relationship was moving her to action. Absolutely. She made it personal. Mm -hmm. She shows up. The Sunday morning, he said mm -hmm. he was going to rise three days. Mm -hmm. So she shows up the Sunday morning. He was not there. And you know what happened? She ran mm -hmm. back to the disciples to tell them that his body is not there. But guess what? She ran back to the mm -hmm. area. Yes. And guess what? You mm -hmm. know what happened? Mm -hmm. If you read from 11 all the way down to about 18, St. John 20. St. John 20, verse 11 to 18, she had a direct encounter mm -hmm. with the Lord. She thought he was the gardener, but mm -hmm. it turned out that it was Jesus. And he gave her a message to go tell the disciples that I have been risen. And guess what? She mm -hmm. had a personal mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. like none other. Mm -hmm. And we are reading about her today. What about you? Yeah. The challenge for each of us every day is that you need to take personally what God is saying to you. That's right. Jesus spoke to a woman, and that's a whole never story, mm -hmm. and he gives her 
-hmm. a personal encounter with the resurrected Jesus mm -hmm. to the point where she couldn't touch him because he's still on his journey. And yet she was the one who got a personal experience. So when she went to the men, she was going to tell him what she personally heard, what she personally saw, what she personally experienced. Wow. Not a personal stuff. She didn't study it. She didn't hear from the men. And so she had something that she could relate to. Yes. More than anything else, we need to have more and more people in the body of Christ who live out their personal experience with Christ yes. and the message yes. in their lives. That's Too right. many of us are spending repeating that which we got in Revelation. We want more than revelation because it is not revelation that builds my faith. It's my experience from the, the revelation. With the revelation. That's right. And it becomes flesh. That's and right. Builds my faith. That's correct. And I pray for each of us today that you will have something more than a good sermon, a good experience, but a good revelation of it that you take personally. You put your whole life on that which God has told you. Yes. And you've seen the results like the phone. It's now yours. Mm. So Paul said, don't lose your faith because now you take it very personal to your life experience. Yes. Many people, sadly to say, are sharing things that they have no personal experience with. I rather a doctor tell me of something that he experienced personally, that he walked through and it come on the other side than something that he studied, mm. that he believes in, mm. that he trusts in, mm. and try to argue with me about something which he has not personally experienced. Oh my. So the days in which we live, we better get more experience from knowledge and revelation of truth, or else we will not keep it. You might lose it. That's correct. So where's your phone? I know where mine is. I know where mine is. I hope you still have yours. We she really is. want to thank God that you joined us today. Yes. You know, we like to use tangible things for the phone, your phone, your faith. Mm -hmm. Customize your faith. Mm -hmm. Let the word become flesh for you. Walk out what God reveals to you yeah. and make it personal like Mary did in John chapter 20. Go ahead and read it. And also, we're looking forward to seeing you next week mm -hmm. on Praise, Praise FM. FM. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. It's on Tuesday. Tuesday. At 7.30 p.m. It's also on Facebook. So if you go to our Praise FM on Facebook, if you go to our Facebook page, you'll also see it on it. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to seeing you, mm -hmm. and we thank God for you. Amen. Continue making your faith yeah. personal. Keep it personal. <laughs>